What's up, y'all? Back again with a beauty video. So this beauty video is quick, simple, and easy. It's for my girls who don't want to do too much, but they want to do a little something, something. So this is my not doing too much, but I'm doing a little something, something makeup look tutorial. Woo! This is going to be a simple face. Um, just quick, every day. I have some lip colors that I want to try out from Urban Decay. These are their new Vice Lip Liners. I have three of those. I want to try them. So we're going to get started. So to start off, I have my Black Girl Sunscreen on. You know the girls love Black Girl Sunscreen. And it does wonders for my face. So I'm going to take the Tan Deep Honey in the Shape Tape Concealer by Tarte. This is my favorite stuff, y'all. You know I live by the Shape Tape. I'm going to take this and put it underneath my eyes. This is canceling out any darkness that I think I have. Um, but I just like to put a color that's kind of like my skin tone before I go in with all of the light colors, you know? So we're just gonna take that underneath the eyes where I think I have a little darkness. And I love this sponge, y'all. It's a real technique sponge. It's like a dollar. Love this sponge. I've been using this sponge for a long time, for a long time. So I'm just gonna take the sponge, blend it all out. And I go over top of my eye too because a little, I have a little bit of like, I feel like I have a little bit of discoloration right here. So I wanna kinda just, you know, even everything out, have an even base. All right, so we got that. I'm gonna take my Tarte. Rainforest of the Sea Foundation. This is in the color Beef Honey. Y'all, why I let this continuing this foundation? And while I'm telling y'all about this, I need to be going about more because I discontinued this foundation and I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. I've been using this foundation for about four years, for a very, very long time. And it's a water-based foundation. There is no oil in here, so that's why I don't break out. It's hyperallergenic. Um, it has skincare benefits. I mean, this this is my foundation. This is my favorite foundation, and they're discontinuing it like some dirty dogs. But you know what? It's cool, and they have a replacement for this, and it's not a replacement at all. Not even a little. It's not good. And I'm gonna take my foundation with my Real Technique foundation brush. Y'all know, love this brush. This kind of sounds like a sponsored video, but it's not sponsored. Real Techniques is not sponsored in this video. Maybe in the future, I might. So I'm just gonna take this and I'm just going to put that with my foundation on my face. I've gotten so tan living in LA. Like, I thought I was getting tan living in Dallas. No. LA, I'm getting so tan. I think because I'm outside all day long. In Dallas, you really could be outside because it's too light. Here you can be outside, you know? So I'm outside all the time, just soaking up that vitamin D. Look at this, look at how my skin is looking, y'all. Like, I love this foundation, cause it looks like skin. It looks like skin, why y'all just continue? So I clean my makeup brushes, and y'all know how it is when you clean makeup brushes. It seems like you have a brand new brush, so you gotta kind of break it in a little bit. So right now I'm breaking it in because that was crazy. Yeah. We got our base on now, so now I'm gonna go in with a lighter concealer. Now this is the Tarte Tape Shape Concealer again. This is in the color Tan Sand. This is about two shades lighter than my foundation color. And we're gonna put that Right here, a little bit right here, other side, other side. My real technique brush, my real technique sponge coming in. 
pop a peek. I'm telling you, this is like a quick everyday glam of looking things. People gonna be like, oh my god, Jamaica makeup is so crazy. A boom. a boom boom cat and i'm taking it over top of my lid as y'all can see it's all about blending makeup is all about blending you can put whatever wherever as long as it's blended out it's supposed to go there. <laughs> so there we go. We got that. Now I'm going to take this is Hourglass. This is my favorite stuff, y'all. It's almost gone. But I use this stuff all the time. I'm going to take this real technique. Now this is a powder sponge. But this sponge is different. They're like, it's like fuzzy like. I don't know, but. It's for powder specifically, so I'm gonna take it, give it my powder. I'm gonna let that sit on there for a little second, literally a little second. I take my Mac. Dark tan mineralized skin finish. Booyah. Drill technique brush. And I'm gonna set my face. So wherever I put foundation, that's where I'm gonna set. This kind of adds a little color back to my face. And sets my foundation so it's not moving out. And me, I like a bright under eye, but I'm like too bright of an under eye, so I'm just gonna take a light, literally a light sweep. Boom, boom. Just like that. When I move you, move just like that. Then I'm gonna take this real technique sponge and just pat in the under eye powder. Because what I love about this powder is it's literally a veil. You're not gonna see any kind of like flashback or anything. It's not going to be it. So I'm pressing the powder in. There we go. Now, the fun parts. I'm going to take, y'all, don't judge me. Please don't judge me. This is so dirty. I love this thing so much. Beauty Bakery, if you're watching this video, sit down. But I'm taking this Beauty Bakery Brownie Bar Face Palette. This is my stuff. This middle color right here. This middle color right here, as y'all can see, is my jam. So I'm just going to take this uh, NYX brush. And I like to use like a tapered kind of brush. You can see here. It's a little tapered. This gives you the perfect contour. The perfect contour because it's going to get right in the crevices where you want it to get. So when I contour, I like to kind of make a three kind of so I like to do boom 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 but I'm gonna start here first and when you contour you always want to bring it up never down because contouring is supposed to you know chisel out the areas that already have a shadow but you don't want to pull it down because it's gonna make your face look longer you want to bring it up to make the cheekbones look higher five dollars y'all for these tips five dollars for these tips but, so I'm breaking it up. I like to do my temple, just to, you know, blend everything in and add color. So I'm gonna pop it right up in here. I like to put a little bit here. Now this is how I like to contour and warm up my face, y'all. Try it out, let me know how you like it. 
to the other side, bringing it up. Then I like to bring it down a little bit right here. Front up the neck. She's allowed the jawline, even though I don't really need it. But see. And then I like to take it and go down the bridge of my nose to add a little bit of dimension back into that part of my face because we are a little flat. Okay, we are a little flat there. It's a little flat. It's just concealer foundation, so you see that. Now, I'm going to take my NARS. This is totally onto the flow down too, y'all. But I love this stuff and I'm just gonna take these two colors, Booyah and Booyah. These are like my top two. And I mix them because it gives me the perfect blush color. So I'm gonna take these two. Do a little smile and pop it right on the cheek. But I'm also gonna bring it up. Pull it up. Cause that's also gonna bring the cheekbone. Look, give you a little laugh, you know? Just a little brush like that. And I like to use a blush that has a little bit of a sheen to it because if you have like large pores or, um, you know, any like skin imperfections, a little bit of sparkle kind of cancels it out, kind of mask it, mask it. Kind of mask it a little bit, mask it a little bit. Y'all know what I'm saying. <laughs> it kind of just takes it out. So what I like to do, I like to take a blush there, a blush here, a little bit right there, a little bit on the side of the nose like that. Just literally like a little brush, boom, boom. Just add a little color. Then I like to take a little bit in my crease. If I'm not gonna wear eyeshadow, I wanna pop a little bit in the crease. So there we go. Now the face is finito a little bit. So now I'm gonna take my Morph Brow Pencil. And this is in the shade Chocolate Mousse. So what I like to do is I like to brush them up first. I like to brush my brows up. And I'm just gonna take, and I wanna just outline here. Kind of following the shape of my brow. Now once I have that shape, I'm gonna just fill it in going upward like that. Kind of just following my brow, see that? Just literally filling my brow in. shape and when I get towards the front since I already have this line I'm just gonna blend it out going up like this so I'm gonna flick it up because I have a lot of hair already so I'm just kind of adding to what I already got so see that towards the front I'm gonna just draw some hairs up in there Upward. Boom. There's a brow. Same thing to this one. Line. Shape. Fill it in. Once I got the shape. So I got my brows on. One more thing I like to do for my brows is I like to take the 24 hour benefit brow setter. This is just in a 
clear and I just like to set my brows. I like to do the front, go upward, follow the natural shade, go upward like that. Now for the fun part, I like to take my NYX Epic Ink Liner. I'm gonna do a wing. Quick, fast, not fancy, not too crazy. We're gonna do this quick. We're gonna use less than three motions, follow along. So I'm only gonna do this once. That's it. I'm gonna do it twice because I gotta do two eyes, but y'all know what I'm saying. So follow along. So this is my easy eye. Start here, where you're not your ass. This little part of the eye where it stops. We're gonna follow it out. Depending on how long your line is, that's how big of a wing you're gonna have. So I wanna do something very subtle, not too much, not too crazy, so I'm not gonna make my line that long. Very long line. <laughs> Longer than I wanted. So now I have my line. So we're gonna connect the line from here to here, okay? But I'm not gonna start at the tip, I'm gonna start like right here. I'm just gonna do that. I'm not sure why it's acting like it's dried out. But it is. And it's making it hard out here for him. So there we go, we have a wings eyeliner. Now I have to do the soid. What's that? So now we're gonna be taking the Lancome Idol Mascara and putting that on these lashes. Now I love this mascara because I love the brush. Look at this brush. It has like a little curve to it. Fluffy. Like it's gonna give you what you need. And I love the brushes that have like the curve to it because it makes it easy for you to get at the root of the lash. Alright y'all, so for lip, I decided to do my itty bitty chestnut lip pencil from MAC with the Urban Decay Law of Attraction. Law of Attraction lip, did not even know this one was called, this is my favorite one. So I did a little real video and I did a video with all three, check my real out so you can see. Um, but. This one is my favorite, and I love the formula of these. It's like a velvet matte. I'm loving how it's hugging the lip. Like, literally, it's hugging the lip. But, yeah, y'all, this is my everyday cute hot girl. Ooh, let me put some eyeliner on. Do I put a little eyeliner on or something? Let me try. I think I'm going to put a little liner on. And when I put liner on, I only put it in halfway because it keeps the eyes open. It doesn't fully close the eyes. I'm going to take my MAC Cheeky Bronze and this little cute real technique brush. I like to use a fiber, a microfiber brush when I'm using, when I'm doing my um, 
highlight just because I feel like it picks up the product a little bit more and it's a little softer than a synthetic, you know. It's a little bit softer, a little bit smoother. La, 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 la. But yeah, y'all, this is my everyday quick makeup look that I do. I've added a wing to it because I've been loving a wing lately. Um, you don't have to add a wing if you don't want to, but yeah, it's my everyday look. You can go with a lighter lip. I normally would, but I wanted to try this out. So, this is what we getting. I love this lip, though. Your girl's ready for the day. Your girl's ready to go out and be cute and be grown.